Hello everybody, welcome back for some more Metroid Fusion. One sec, I'm gonna raise up the game volume because I think it keeps like fucking up with me. Um, just like a hair, a hair a bit because it seems kind of a bit too quiet, but yeah. We're back with more Metroid Fusion again and we did some pretty decent progress. Close to an hour's worth of progress, so not that bad I guess. And now we're heading into, I forget where, but we're heading into somewhere. Oh yeah, that's right in the secret areas. So, we're just going to continue on with that, and I'm just going to check every potential thing that I can check to see if there's anything I can blow up or not. What the fuck was the point of this area? I, I know I probably should be wasting missiles, but it's kind of hard not to. Do we actually come from up here maybe again? I don't, I don't remember at all. Ah, yes, you come from here. Okay. Would be nice to know that a little bit earlier, but, uh, oh well. We know it now. We know it for later, so. Response Why don't you try asking me later? Oh. Okay. Most likely we gotta go into that open door there, but I kinda wanna dick around for just a bit longer and just check more stuff out. Also, this, I think the whole thing could be broken. There we go. Come down here, and it's just another area. I'm not gonna fucking fight everything in sight, man. There's just no damn point in doing that, to be honest. Wait, hold on, what? Am I dumb? I think we come fr wait. How would we come from there? Though. Why would they make us? I don't remember at all. Yeah, again, I'm not really 100% sure on exactly where some of the secret stuff is, and again, I'm not 100%ing, so. Yeah, I don't know. It's more so, I guess, at this point, trial and error shit. Don't really need to save. I think we did a pretty good job already of where we're at. Even though I'm not 100%ing, I'm still going to like at least try to check and make sure that there, you know, isn't something completely missing that I could go get. Also, don't be fooled by some rooms. Some rooms might end up actually giving you more stuff to do that you, than you think you could have done. Like here, for example. Which I think we're supposed to go this way. I think this guy's actually worn zero mission, if I remember correctly. I think so. Look, I get my shit mixed up. I tend to forget things more often nowadays. So. It happens. Yeah, we were supposed to go here. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yes, the giant, like, eyeball dick monster thing. So basically, he's going to jump above you uh, a few times. And then eventually, his last jump, he'll fly. And then all you got to do is just shoot him. Like, with missiles and shit. Preferably missiles. Just because it'd be a lot easier. You can't shoot him from the outside. His exoskeleton is too hard. So you have to only shoot via... With, you know... The inside. Just let him jump, like, two or three times. After that, he's gonna float. Fuck's sake. Something else about this game, too, is it has a lot of really... Like, kind of nasty, creepy bosses to fight through. There we go. Good. Come on. Up again. Yeah, I feel like a lot of the bosses in this game are a lot more, like, potentially nasty looking. You know? If I remember correctly, I think a full charge shot would... Okay, never mind. You have to use missiles on these guys. If you run out of missiles, that's fine. All you gotta do is just shoot him a few times, and then eventually he'll drop something. He'll drop green X parasite, which basically means that you get uh, missiles back. And then after you get power ups, they typically just give you full health and full health and magic. Yeah, uh, full health and missiles back. So, you know what? I, it's gonna kill my brother's OCD and potentially even my OCD. Let's just. 
Let's just fucking jump in this room. Just to get that last... No fucking way. I gotta come back here? Are you serious? Sector 2, okay. Well, that's interesting to know. I, I will keep that in mind. Oh yeah, we can't break that because we gotta go back up here. To escape. To escape the confines. You probably could have actually come to think of it, but oh well. Too late, too bad. Too late to do whatever now. Too late to apologize. Okay. Heading up time. Fucking Christ. There we go. Fucking Christine Chandler. God damn it. Was there anything down there I could do? Probably not. Oh well. We'll just continue on then. We'll just continue on our merry way. Oh, everything is fucking destroyed. Except for this random piece of rubble. Oh wow, this is where we come from. And yep, there's SAX right there. Let her just go by. Let her blow up her shit. And just wait for her to exit the room completely. Don't don't fuck with her. Just don't mess with it because she'll eat your ass. And no, she's not going to do it in the good way either. I think we probably should jump up. But yeah, something else that's really neat about this game too. Like if you want to give more into the idea of the atmosphere uh, being a lot better. So we're now pretty much in, I would argue, like phase two of the game. Where now like creatures that used to kind of hang around the larva. Yeah, they were just larva the entire time, so now they're going to start uh, becoming different creatures eventually, so they're going to start hatching soon. Pretty cool, huh? Honestly, I think it's pretty cool. Pretty cool aspect. We can't go anywhere now because they're kind of just blocking the way anyway, for the most part, so we're kind of stuck as it is. With well, certain areas are kind of stuck because we can't blow up the cocoons, unfortunately. This is still one of the dumbest fucking things to do, though. Yeah, it's still just... Ah! Like, I don't... I don't want my Metroids to be, like, extremely casual-friendly, but I don't think that they should make it, you know... Like that, where somebody who doesn't play Metroid often would just know how to do that. Yeah, I get it. Trial and error, you know, and I'm all for that. I'm just saying that I think something like... Like a game like this, that I feel like is made for potentially a bit more of a casual audience. I feel like it'd be uh, a nicer thing to just let them not have to do the, the super hard struggle stuff. You know? Like wall jumping and shit. Well, okay. But then you could take my argument and say, well, if you want people to, to learn stuff, they're gonna have to learn how to wall jump like in Super Metroid and shit. Like they had to, they had to learn then, so why not learn now, I guess. I think we go... I think we go back up, but I kind of want to go check something real quick. I don't feel like I'm done here, you know? I don't I don't want to be done here. I don't want to be done down here. I think we might have to go through that way. Oh, wait. I forgot that. Oh, that's right. I take back what I said. I'm just going to... I'm still a complete maroon. I mean, in all fairness, I still kind of hold some of that value, but not fully, though. You know, not fully. I still don't mind, like, trial and error shit. I'm just saying that I thought the game is a lot more uh, casual-ish friendly. But, yeah. I don't know. Maybe I do want my hand to be held the whole time. Who knows? <laughs> Fucking hate fish. Fucking hate them. Fucking hate fish. They're little shits. They're little bastards. Alright, so now we actually have to go back up. We have to go back through that way that we pretty much just had access to. And yes, you can jump on those guys. It's really handy, really nifty. But, you know, you don't have to. You can do what I did right there and do like a wall jump. Which is always cool. If anything, I think the game probably does tell you you can jump with um, high jump in ball form. I think they do tell you that. Also, I feel like my fucking computer chair is like way more broken. God, I need to buy another one already. I just need to. But I'm too fucking stupid to do it. I'm, I'm just worried about finding a chair that's just not going to have the ability to go down far enough. Because I like I like where my chair is sitting at now, you know? The thing is so fucking broken. 
It's so fucking broken. Like, the back is just hanging off it. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Oh, yeah, we don't go this way. Wait, hold on. I was gonna say, I almost kind of forgot about this. This little thing here. Boop. It was funny. <laughs> Yesterday, uh, I went to the doctor's to, you know, just do like a physical check thing kind of thing. Wellness check, I guess you could say. Um, just because. I haven't done it in a long time. Why not, right? And, uh, they were talking about, like, you know, mental health stuff, right? And I pretty much said, like, you know, you know, a lot of the time I kind of get, like, worried about stupid shit. You know, it happens. Uh, but it just kind of comes and goes. And then I, I said something along the lines of, like, as long as it doesn't, you know, like, it doesn't impede on my daily activities, I guess, too much. And it was just funny, like, she kind of, like, you know, said kind of the same thing, too, like, as long as it doesn't impede. And I was like, haha, <laughs> you know, my, my stupid smart brain words, you know, wormed their way into your head now. I got you. I like to do that sometimes. Like, I just randomly throw out a word that's, like, quote-unquote smart word. Because, like, most people that I know don't talk in that particular way. They just can't, like, what I talk like right now with Let's Play stuff, you know, it's just, like, I'll, I'll say something like, well, it doesn't, you know, affect me too much, right? That would be, like, the normal way of, I would, that would be what I would normally say. But I thought, for some reason, in that moment, it would be funny if I said impede. To try to quote unquote, I guess, sound smarter than I really am, um, and then there's just yeah, nothing wrong with the doctor. I'm, you know, it wasn't like a ha gotcha moment. It was just like just a funny little, oh wow, you know, she repeated what I said, kind of. That was interesting, interesting little psychological thing, you know, because I like stuff like that. I, I like the idea of how people think. Would you fucking stop? I sound like a psychopath when I put it that way, but that's... Well, more like a sociopath, actually. I've always had an interest in, in psychology, but I just never took it. That's all. Because I always kind of wanted to know, like, why the fuck do I think the way I think, you know? And to be fair, some people are just... Some people are just easy enough to read. Not her, specifically. Not my doctor, specifically, but... Just, uh... Family, you know, family members can be pretty easy to read sometimes. Sometimes your friends, you know, like when you hang around people long enough, you just can kind of predict what they're going to say. And it really kind of sucks too sometimes because there are days where I'll just like, before I even show up, I'll just know what someone's going to say and then they'll say it and I'll be like, yep, do it, you know, and it just, it sucks because like it kind of ruins the fun of the surprise of what they could potentially say, right? That's probably not a good thing either to have that, but it is what it is. So now I gotta go through this electric area, electric avenue. Um, well, I don't think we can do it yet. I've got to wait. Never mind. I guess we can do it now. But pretty much, um, just you know, don't get hit by the bad water, and you'll be okay. They give you these platforms you can kind of jump on here to just pretty much avoid. Most, if not all of it. You got high jump at this point, so you should be fine. Uh, ow, fucker. Fucker, right in the pussy. And then I think we have to go through this way. I think we have to go through this way. Pretty sure. Pretty positive. We do. Um, fuck it, sure. Like, we're getting kind of close to a boss fight. Might as well just, you know... No, we can't. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I want to play the fucking game. I want to play the fucking game. Yeah, maybe maybe I will do, like, Super Metroid or Dread next. I don't know yet. <laughs> fucking love those games, man. Except, well, I'm not actually that big of a fan of Super Metroid anymore because there's parts of it that piss me off. Like, Meridia. Uh, that part pisses me off a little too much. I don't like that level. I don't like the water shit in that game. But on that, you know, great fucking game still. Also, Energy Tank. We can't go through there. Yes, it looks like it's in the background. No, it's not. Don't let it fool you. So, I guess I kind of went the wrong way. Well, not necessarily. I got a health. I got an E-tank out of it. So, I guess it's fine. 
Now I gotta go all the way back. And potentially go maybe either down or up. I got these fucking cocksuckers that I'm just gonna get in the way. Yeah, we have to go down. I just wanna see if there's anything down here. I don't think there really was. Just mostly that guy. Mostly just would turn into a mini boss fight, because eventually those fucking X parasites are gonna cling on to one specific guy for, like a lot, and they'll make him bigger and stronger and it's just annoying. It ain't worth the trouble. Also, don't hold up while you jump. Don't do it. Just just jump. That's how you high jump. You don't need to hold up or anything like that. Just make it worse on you. Trust me. See, if I hold up now... Well, okay, you can't hold up, but sometimes, like, it just kind of does that, right? So. Yeah. Actually, I don't think that's the game's fault. I think that, Yeah, that's just me. <laughs> Never mind. I take that back. That's just a me problem. Never mind. I do that for, like, every Metroid. Like, I, I'm pretty sure at this point it's got to be me doing that. I think it's my brain, like, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't want to do more than one thing at once. So instead of holding down A, I just fuck it all up, I guess. I could have sworn there was a way into this shit. What the? Am I dumb as hell? Like, I think you fall down from it then, I guess. Maybe, no, I don't know. Oh. That's kind of odd. Oddheader.com. Cool. I love to get some missiles. Always good to have some missiles. I guess we're just going to fuck off for now. Alright. So was that just completely pointless? Then where do I go now? I don't remember. I guess we go up. If I can even freaking go up, I don't know. I guess we'll see. I don't quite remember. Stop fucking hitting me, you fucking dickbags. Up to where? Up there? We couldn't even go up there because it just fucking locked me out. I know where to go now. Hold on. I fucking... I, I got it. Also, I forgot to say that I'm Turd Monkey and explain my channel, but... Who cares? If you're watching my Metroid playthrough, you most likely probably enjoy my content enough anyway to want to watch it. I feel like Metroid might be a little too much uh, for outside folk. I think we're stuck. I don't think I have a choice. I think I'm gonna have to go remember how to fucking find my way through this game. That's right. I know where now. Oops! Forgot about this section. Oops! There's no ice cream in the fridge. Oops! Well, look at there. There's no ice cream in the fridge. Oops. I think I got that wrong, that reference wrong. It's basically Sam Hyde on Fish Tank. Season 1, just slamming in the fridge. Over and over again. Uh, let's go this way. Okay, save room. Good. Always good to have a save room. One game I didn't mention that I kind of want to do at some point is Edna and Eddie Missed Adventures for the game. Cube slash PS2. It was also on Game Boy, but I don't have the Game Boy version, so I would probably have to do it like, you know, the PS2 uh, GameCube version. I'll probably end up doing like the GameCube version, the one that I grew up with, like I physically grew up with, more so. I'm going to be honest, I don't, I don't think I've ever gotten that this old there before. I don't think I ever have. Got that one, but I don't think I've gotten the other one. There it is. You guys are fucking cunts. Stop being in the goddamn way. Jeebus. Oh, well. I never gotten it. Oop. Sorry. Clicking things. That's going to ruin the entire video. No, my immersion. Wait, hold on. Am I fucking dumb, or am I actually stupid? Oh, that's the target I'm looking at. Oh, okay. No, please, stop. I'm a virgin. That's gonna be me when I'm 60. Still stuck as a virgin. With rage. I am still 
Just a virgin with rage. It's kind of like rat in a cage, except I'm a virgin with rage. Uh, can't go there because water is bad. Got to go to the right, but we can't go there because I'm stuck here and I need the speed boost to get through this shit. So where the fuck do I go again? I don't remember. No, I'm being dead serious. I actually kind of forgot where the fuck we're supposed to go. Give me a minute. I'll figure it out. Give me a few. I'll figure it out. Just give me a bit and I'll figure it out. Like, I, I feel like we go this way. Well, there's a save room right there, so, I mean... I don't know, maybe. The boss room's right there. Did I just overlook the boss room like an idiot? I don't know. Possibly. I, I have no idea. I don't, I don't quite remember. Ooh. Well... I get health. That's always good. See, like, we came through here earlier, but then we couldn't, like, continue because something was in the way. We couldn't do it. Because this, yeah, this fucking thing. That's right, yeah. As far as I, wait, hold on. My stupid ass might have just forgotten how to do certain things. No, nope, never mind. Okay, fine. Okay, game. Fine. Whatever the fuck you want. Whatever the fuck you say. I hope it gives you hell. I hope it gives you hell. Alright, uh, let's see what this does, if anything. Nothing. Okay, cool. Well, you never know. There could be, like, something down here. You never know. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm so lost again. Yes, I really am just this stupid. I know. It's actually impressive sometimes. Like, I, I even amaze myself with how dumb I am. Wait, did I ever go downward? Like, down through the... Well, I think I did. I'm pretty sure I did. I think I did. I think I can. Well, yeah, we went through here, but we can't go much further in because shit's all fucking lightning and stuff, and I can't do much about that game. Don't you think? Wait, did we ever? Did I ever? I don't know. Well, yeah, because... Yeah. Wait, hold on. Ugh. Sometimes I swear, man. Like, just some stuff, man. Just pisses me off. Oh, I'm not that angry. I mean, we're here now. So, why should I be that mad about something that I, I basically just kind of accomplished already? What, is it a missile expansion door? What the fuck was the point of that? Oh, here we go, finally. Made of the pump control room. Oh, boy. Hmm, I wonder what power-up we're gonna get. Oh. Ow! Hold on! Wait, hold, hold the fucking phone. Hold the frickin' phone here. Wait a fucking minute. Hold on. Sorry I keep cussing, but that's just what I normally do. Yeah, okay, that's painful. Okay. So we gotta go up. Right? We're gonna have to. But where? Where do we go up again? How the fuck do we go up again? There it is. I'm just hiding like a little shithead. Okay, okay. Yeah, keep playing me like a loser. See how funny it is. When I beat this damned game. Fudge. I keep doing the thing where I don't actually grab onto the ledge thing here. Oh. God damn it, Samus. Come on. There we go. Thank you. Holy shit, that took a while. And, yeah, there we go. Okay. Cool. Nice door. And now, time for boss fight, even though I have, like, 73 health. We'll probably be okay. No, he won't. Who am I kidding? No, he won't. Unless I get a recharged room, like, now. Oh, okay, never mind. 
I would hate to have to bomb every fucking thing in sight. I, I feel like that would just get absolutely annoying. And then I got this part here where you have to pretty much just like preemptively jump. You have to just know that he's gonna not be eyeball form. Oh yeah, I forgot that red gives you like full health. It was, I think it was green that gives you missiles then. Alright. Try to stay out of the water. That's that's my best advice. So this boss is a huge, huge fucking pain in the ass. In my opinion, uh, just one of the fucking worst. Because, like, I don't know where he's going to come from. The screen is not big enough to kind of show me. I mean, I guess you could use sound, but... You know, I'm kind of dumb, so... Oh, that's right. If you're down here, he'll at least show you where he's going to go from. At this point, I'm just trying to, like... Get even, like, a few hits in, you know? Just something. Alright, that's it. I'm going back up to the top. I'm going back up here. If anything, I guess staying over to like one corner might be a better idea because then he can't come from like a million different places. He's got to come from one specific place somehow. What's just annoying is he does that shit, you know? It's all reactionary, baby. It's all reactionary. There we go. Nice. I don't remember him having too much health, but I guess we'll see. Yeah, this boss always gave me issues before. Always one of the harder ones, in my opinion. I'm sure there's some way to kind of figure out the strategy here, but... Like, some pattern, I guess. See, I, I knew it. I knew it was going to come from that way. I just knew it. Like, I think there is. There's got to be a pattern to this. You fucking cunt! Like, what the... I'm gonna get my ass whooped. There he is. So I actually heard that one that time. I'm gonna try to do the smart thing and... Ah, uh, that's okay. Ah, uh, it's okay. It's fine. Oh god. Oh god, dearest. Nope. 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 Not eating shit. Nope. Not for- not- not with all that shit? No. No. Not doing that all over again. I don't fucking care. Cheating or not, I don't give a shit. I just- I don't care. Now, granted, of course, if I was playing on Wii U, that'd be a different story. I'd have to actually live and not die, but... Hell with it. I just want to beat the fucking game. I told you guys that. It's for fun. Don't get so pissed. If you think I suck, go fucking play it yourself. And that's the one thing that always kind of annoys me, though, is... Um, sometimes you get, like, comments that are like, Wow, you fucking suck ass. And then, like, they have no way of proving that they actually are good themselves. You know, they never make videos themselves. It's like, okay, well, yeah. <laughs> maybe I suck ass, but, uh, maybe you could, you know, show me how good you are. Show me how it's supposed to be done, but you never do. Where the hell was that damn pump room again? The blue door, right? I think. Ah, the fuck. Yeah, I think it probably is. Yeah, by the way, I'll probably only do, like, save state stuff if it comes to, like, boss fights and shit. Like, I've already beat the boss. I'll just rewind. Because I don't want to fight the whole fucking boss again. Look, I, I get it, I know, but, like, you... It's on Switch! I had the power to do it! The fucking Switch allows me to do it, so... Blame them, not me. Blame them, not me. Sometimes I'll try hard in certain games, and sometimes I just don't give a rat's ass. 
But yeah, it, it does depend on the game, though. There you go. Nice. It depends on the game. So calm your titties. Alright, so. We can finally make it through here. We can finally shut down that stupid fucking pump control crap. Or the water level, I mean, yeah. Finally shut that crap off. Because, man, that's been getting quite irritating the entire level. Let's well thank up. Very nice. No more electricity. Actually, hold on. Before we... That's too late. Well, it's not too late. It's never too late for that. It's too late for that, though. I want to check something real quick. It's going to bother me. Well, one thing for sure is I think you got to go... Well, no, you, you, you don't. Never mind. You don't do that way. I wanted to check, like, down y'all. But I don't think there's anything down y'all. Nope. Get up there, girl. God damn it. And of course, we can't really do much down here because, well, you know, it's still water. I don't have gravity suit, so... Still kind of stuck. For the time being. I think for here, we can finally go down here. Uh, but there's nothing to do down here because it's red fucking door. Because of course it is. It's always red door. Red door numero uno. You know what I should do? I probably should just start uploading these freaking videos already. So you guys will probably most likely see this in the same day that's recorded. Which is the 13th of January right now. So Both are recorded, like, one after another. Yeah, I knew it. God damn it. Fuck. Bullshit. Fucking bullshit. I think this is where we're supposed to go. Come to think of it. Yeah, because if you want to get through there, you have to... You have to use the shine spark... Speed boost, sorry. You have to use speed boost to get through there, so... Before we do that, I want that missile tank. I always want the missile tank. I always want and get the missile tank. Now... In terms of getting down there... I don't remember. Or really know how. So... Yeah. Found it. <laughs> Pretty sure this has got to be the way, but where is thing at? Where is thing located? Oh, of course it is. A oh, fucking course it. Is. That's all right. I love the Metroid games, dear to death. Right? I love Metroid games, but the one thing I don't like, however, is when they do that shit. Well, not that enemy thing, but when they do uh the power bomb crap. You know the one. You know the one I'm talking about. Where it's like, oh, uh, you need to, like, go get the power bomb and then come back with it. And then you can gain access to these extra secret, super cool upgrades and shit. Like, I get it. You want to make the power bomb useful. I get it. I understand it. But it pisses me off because, like, I don't have it until, like, I, I'm fucking near the end of the game. So it's like I got to wait. Missile upgrade data. Oh, hell yeah. Level 4 locks. Oh, no. Oh, boy. More SAX activity in Sector 2. Download the Sector 3. Find the PR data on your map after using the navigation room there. Yes. Now head for Sector 3. Okay, well, can I go... Can I go just down here real quick and go do some extra stuff for just a little while? Like, I know I need to go there, but can I just go do something else real fast? Just real quick. Just, you know, just out of the way, sort of, I guess, maybe, like right in here, which most likely no one in this game probably needs fucking, oh, <laughs> good one, good one, game, good one, oh, yes, yes, we are locked out, oh, we are locked out, for sure, 
I think it's probably not a good idea to start coming down here. Nope, not, no, no, it's not a good idea. No, it's not a good idea. Well, shit. Alright, I guess we're stuck having to go to Sector 3 now. Because I can't go through here yet, because I need certain weaponry to get through there. And, oh, I just don't have it. I just don't have it, man. They're not gonna let me. They're not gonna let me down there to get that shit, though. Okay, let's get to sector three. Let's do the navigation thing. Let's do all the things that you know, Mr. Computer wants me to do, and what have you. By the way, how to do that? You just get into speed boost. You hit down while you're finally in the speed boost when you're starting to shine, and then you hit down, and then you hit a direction, and then A, and then there you go. I don't think we can do Sector 2 yet, right? Was it a blue door it needed? Well, there's, I think there's a way you can check. Like, I think we can change the map, right? I thought. I don't want to... No, no, don't do that. I thought there was. A, like, a map system we could just... Alright, let me go check something. So, earlier there was, like, a door I don't think we can go through. Um, and it might have been either blue or red, I don't know. No, it needed something specific. Wasn't that power bomb shit? There's already yeah, there's blue doors. We've already been through that shit. Okay, well let's just go back to sector three. Fuck it, whatever. Whatever, let's just go do what the game wants me to do and just Just do it. <laughs> just get it over with and stop being a big baby. Stop being a big baby. Wait a minute. Three's this way? Oh. Okay. All right, now we got to listen to Samus's monologue once again. Oh wow! Also, PYR. What do you think that would probably mean? Eh, fucking pyro. So here we go. Oh boy. If I'm if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure it probably means like this is the fire area. Also, I kind of like how the maps are a bit small, though. I, in my opinion, I would much prefer a Metroid game that has like a lot of levels that are just kind of small in between, rather than like gigantic levels, you know. Okay. Data room's over there. But we gotta deal with some bullshit. Yep, we're in the fire area now. Well, two are green. Super missile data's ready. Okay, cool. First, to activate green hashes. Cool. I like how they tell you, like, if you go into one, just fuck off. Don't, don't, don't mess with it. Don't mess with it. We probably should save. Now, yeah, I'll play for like a few minutes. And then I'll end the video. I want to do something after this video, though, actually. Yeah, you know what? Nah. Fuck it. Sorry. Let's, let's just go save and call it a video. <laughs> anyway, um, that'll be it for the t today. Uh, I might do more later today myself, recording-wise, but I don't know. But anyway, that's it for now, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time for some more Metroid Fusion. And as always, take care, everybody.